Well, a Valley woman says that she is lucky to be alive after a car plowed into her house. Take a look here at the extensive damage. There you see it. Well, tonight that driver is still out there. 13 Action News reporter Tom George joins us live near Ann and Tropical where it all happened and gives us a closer look at that damage. Yeah, you can still see a lot of the mess behind it actually started on that side street right there. The side street comes to an end. You have to make a turn, but instead a car kept going. You can still uh, if you walk here, you can see the tire marks. It went all the way up here through that wall, which is now boarded up and where we're standing. We're actually eight or 10 feet above where the home is. So that car actually went airborne before landing in that house. Oh my God, we're just lucky. I'm lucky. Lucky is an understatement. This post on her back patio was the only thing that stopped that car before it would have slammed into the living room where Ruth and her boyfriend were sitting. His head is here, and my head was here. They were up late around 2 a.m. watching TV. This, I heard this boom, and it was so loud. I thought it was thunder or a bomb. Like I was thinking, oh my God, it's World War III. And the damage sure looks like it. A car made it through the barrier wall behind her house and plowing into her back patio and knocked huge slabs of concrete inches away from their heads. This is the, the concrete. It came through here. They snapped these pictures of the car, but the people who were inside it quickly took off. And, and then he was saying, let's, we have to get out of here or something like that. Ruth said she was worried they were going to break in next. They could have taken stuff too from the house. Now worrying about tens of thousands in damage, and her furry friends still skittish. It's just traumatized, she's still hiding. But at the end of the day, just glad no one was hurt. I said it could be your last day any day, so live the fullest each day. Now the big question, of course, is who was behind the wheel? North Las Vegas police tell me that car actually was not stolen, uh, but they are looking in to find out who may have been driving that car. Reporting live, Tom George, 13 Action News. All right.